Guys, Lost Lion here on another beautiful day in Athens, Greece. It's May 20th. Tomorrow is a very special day. I'll tell you why in a minute. But first, I wanted to explain something. We're gonna visit all these locations you see here on this form. Basically, we're here in the middle. Number one is Acropolis. That's where we're going right now. It's about eight in the morning. We haven't had breakfast, just coffee, and we're fine for now. So we're gonna go up to Acropolis to my, to my left. Then, I wanted to explain also that this ticket gets you six entrances to all these places for 30 euros. That's per person. So this is a great, great idea if you want to explore everything for one price. So can't wait to use this. 30 euros is not bad for all day because it's probably going to take all day to see all this. So we're here at the church. Our hotel's behind us. And let's go to Acropolis. Look at how it used to be, guys. All these little structures on the bottom with that fully intact. And look how it is now. By the mid century, a century later, theater became one of the most fundamental. And there used to be a structure back here. But they put these pieces up so that people can see them. This dates back about 2,000 years ago, a little more, 2,500 years ago. Very interesting. We're here in Acropolis. We're at the very top. Well, not yet. We're going to self climb up there. But before we go up there, I want to show you guys a little bit of how big Athens is. So if you look to my right, you're gonna see our we're, our hotel is right over there, somewhere in there. And Athens stretches all the way to as far as the buildings you see. But if you look past over there, further to my right, you're gonna see the ports of Pireus. And that's where we're taking our cruise tomorrow, which we're all so excited for. Um, so anyways, we're gonna climb up to the top, take beautiful views in from there, take some photos. It's gonna be nice. It's already hot, lots of people. Okay, again, it's about nine in the morning and we came in from that structure right there. As you can see, there's a ton of people already. I mean, this place opens at eight o'clock, so, you know, don't forget that there's gonna be a line outside of probably starting earlier than that. So what we're gonna do is just walk around the whole area. This is Acropolis up here with beautiful views of Athens. And uh, let's go this way, let's see what else there is. We're looking south, south side of the path. What you're gonna find a lot is like a lot of rubble in like uh, fenced off places like this. And uh, they just kind of have the pieces all grouped together in different areas. But then you have the full on structure, like the one in front of us, as you see. Beautiful day in Greece. We haven't ate breakfast yet. So we're gonna go down and uh, we'll start heading down and get some breakfast somewhere, maybe some brunch. The reality of traveling, guys, in a very touristic spot like this, there are thousands and thousands of people, and it's about 9 a.m. in the morning. Let me check on my phone. 9:45, 9:45. So, either way, beautiful. Wouldn't change it for anything, and it's at least it's not hot. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. 
Now we are on the north side, uh, looking at the north side actually of Athens. And it is massive. Just look to my right and you're going to see all these white buildings. As far as you can see. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a good viewpoint from here. It's the highest point, so might as well take in the views. This, this is why you guys want to come super early. You know, be here at 7 30, 8 o'clock. Because then this is what you get. I mean, tons of people, tons and tons of people. Even coming down was a pain in the butt. But we're here, so. Uh, all right, thankfully we're done. We're gonna go have some brunch and we'll bring you guys along, so let's go. First order of business, leaving Acropolis. I got my cappuccino and my chocolate crepe. It looks so good, Black Forest. Here we got the eggs with the bacon and toast on the bottom. A little bit of arugula. Looks fantastic. And we got the same over there. Four out of five for the breakfast that we just had next to the Acropolis. It's really good. So I had a good uh, breakfast as you see in the video. This is Adrian's Park. The Greek gods used to come through here and go to the Temple of Zeus, right over there. Beautiful day. It's getting hotter and hotter for sure. Tons of people, tons of people. I'm talking thousands and everywhere, everywhere. So it's a uh, just expect large crowds any time of the year because I've now been here in August and now in May. The only difference is the weather is a little better better now so not much to complain there Messi and Ronaldo yeah, and all this they wear this brand yeah I just like the lions because I love lions yeah that's why yeah I have it this also just yes of course you can try what do you guys think? Hmm. I'll try now. Okay, we're here in Athens shopping and we just got to see what I see. We got a few items in there, hats, shirts, like that. And here's the owner, Alex. Alexis, Hi. how are you doing? Here's the hats. It looks like this. See what I see. Design meetup store. Very unique. It's his own design. Lots of things. Smash the patriarchy. Feminist. It's good quality too. Very nice. This guy's used to be the church. This was a whole church complex right here. This is Adrian's library. So this used to be a place of study. And people were, uh, you know, the, the Greek people from back then, you know, they came to study, read books, whatever. And this whole area is just, it's just now, sadly, it's just a bunch of rubble now. But it's still amazing to see. The Asian part of Athens is always lower than the, you know, the higher level there. And a lot of times you just have a few structures standing, but not, not a lot of it. You can see the Acropolis up there, way up there in the distance. We went there in the morning. Don't wait till afternoon. Do not wait till afternoon to go up there. Too many people. 
This place is too, too touristy to be doing <laughs> during the middle of the day. Um, thankfully, it's not so busy here. Okay, after a quick uh, social media content producing couple of hours, we have decided to eat next to our hotel. It's called Osaka Sushi. So we have our options here. The prices are really reasonable. So if you're ever craving sushi, come to Osaka Sushi. We ordered the eel's love. It's like eel on top with some rice on the bottom. Rectangle shape. Six pieces. This looks really good. Cutest dragon roll I've seen. It's got like little details to it. And it looks really good. Shrimp on both sides. And it's got a toothpick in the middle with some radish. It's nice. <laughs> Karea from the 11th century, so about a thousand year old. A thousand years old, this church right here. Orthodox church. It's beautiful and it's in the middle of a bunch of buildings and shopping, stuff like that. Alright, so quick stop at Mr. Puff's dessert bar. Those little donuts that you see right here. Lucamades. They're called Lucamades. They come in all kinds of flavors, like sweet, Honey, chocolate, vanilla, anything you want on them. They're like the most famous dessert here in Greece. So, can't wait to try it. We just ordered some and a milkshake. And then we're gonna go down that street. Lukamades, Lukamades, that's how you say this. The Greek delights. Here's a milkshake, just normal. Oh my God. Here I have the Lukamades. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a try. They're like basically mini donuts. Really delicious. Lucomades is what we just had. These little donuts like this in this in this picture. And I showed you guys in the video. Uh, you can do four out of five. They were very good. They're about two bag size. Like they're pretty big. So with about a dozen of them, you're gonna get full. So Definitely recommend Mr. Puffs. Good spot. Okay, so what you just saw right now is a ceremony of the Unknown soldier, there's a tomb there, right in the middle. If you saw it, I'm gonna point it out. There's an unknown soldier tomb, and they protect it like 24 seven. Right now they're doing like a little ceremony of switching places with each guard. So it's pretty interesting to see the, the outfit they have and what they do. So let's look a little bit more. Again, still here at the tomb of the unknown soldier right behind me. They got two guards, and like I said, it was it's guarded like 24/7. I think it's uh, from World War One. Uh, you know, it's kind of remembrance of the soldiers lost in that war. So it's pretty cool. There is a tomb in the middle. I don't know who, of who it is. Nobody knows because it says unknown soldier, and it's pretty cool to see how they take it seriously. Something different. Never seen that before. So. Uh, we're gonna head to the city center once again, which is right ahead, right over there. This is the city life, Athens, Greece. You have been great. It's roughly 7:14 in the afternoon and the evening. Beautiful area. Beautiful area. Just the daily life here. And it's a weekend too, so lots of people, lots of people. 
Really nice to see all this. Meet the Greek. We're gonna try souvlaki. Beer, alpha, Greek beer. Okay, so we got the souvlaki, chicken, and beef with a little bit of pita bread and a lemon. I mean a lime. Sorry, no lemon, lemon. This place is called Meet the Greek. Meet the Greek. We also have alpha beer, Greece. And uh, meet the Greek, come here for fast food. It's gonna be, it looks good. We haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you guys know after how it is. Okay, so we had meet the Greek uh, for two people. It was 13 euros. It was, it was great. Uh, no complaints, it was a four out of five. Even the manager, I think, or the boss, whoever talked to us, he said everything's made from scratch, so it was worth the meal. A quick bite, it's considered the fast food, but it really tastes better than that. So I would definitely come here for a quick bite. I would come here almost every day if I could. The beautiful, virgin, Brazilian, lady. Brazilian lady, here we go.